Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. I'm John, and today I found all four of the figures that are coming out for Masters of the Universe Revelation. So I'm going to do something different. Normally, I don't go through a whole wave of figures. Normally, as you guys know, I try to do each figure individually. But today, I'm going to try something different. Since I got all four of these at once, I lucked out. Um, I think I'm just going to open them. And we're going to do a 360 of each figure. Still going to try to keep this short. I'm not going to go like a half hour here. And uh, so we'll do a 360 of each figure. Do a quick look at them. And... Um, see what these guys are like and then maybe then if i you know i want to do one of he-man of course because i got to put him on on a battle cat well so we'll have to do an individual video of he-man but i'm not sure about the rest yet we'll see how this goes all right so uh yeah we got moss man here pretty cool it looks like he's got some kind of tendrils or whatever that come out Once believed to be nothing more than a legend, the mythical Praternian plant creature Mossman is wise beyond his million years. His powers of great strength, plant control, and shape-shifting into any form of plant life make him invaluable ally to He-Man in the fight against Skeletor. As protector of Castle Grayskull's secrets, Mossman's sagely advice helps guide his friend He-Man on the right path. Really cool picture of Mossman on the back there. Let's go to He-Man then. He-Man, He-Man. He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Defender of Castle Grayskull, protector of the planet Eternia, and guardian of the entire universe. There is nobody stronger, faster, or braver than the mighty He-Man. He is quite simply the most powerful man in the universe. Past, present, or future. A vessel for the mysterious power of Grayskull. He-Man inspires the heroes of Eternia to fight the forces of evil. Without He-Man, Eternia and the universe would be doomed. Yes. Skeletor's friend, Evil In. The evil warrior goddess, the dark sorceress, ever present by Skeletor's side. We've sinister spells to assist in his quest to conquer Castle Grayskull. A dangerous foe with maleficent intent, malicious intent. Evil Inn is not above allying herself with the heroic warriors of her own ambition and the untapped universal power held within Eternia. Whether standing on the side of evil, or on the side of good, Evil Inn is to be feared, but never trusted. Cool picture of Evil Inn there. Nice, nice, nice. And now the big bad himself, Skeletor. Skeletor, the evil lord of destruction. For ages, Skeletor ravaged the land and terrorized the people of Eternia in his quest to capture all the power in the universe for himself. Now, the nefarious scourge of Eternia plots his final hostile takeover of Castle Grayskull. With dark magic, devious technology, and an army of loyal soldiers at his back, this sinister sorcerer believes his time nothing can stop him. Not even He-Man. I didn't point this out when looking at Evil Lynn, but she has an alternative head without the the uh, thing there. Her whatever headdress. Just the white hair. Pretty cool. So here we are. We have He-Man. The most powerful man in the universe. Great looking figure. We'll get him on the roundabout. He's got two extra hands that are like grab onto a sword hands. The hands he comes with are a fist and an open palm. Look at those gauntlets. He's got a gauntlet. He's got the He-Man armor, his loincloth and boots. He comes with a shield that has a nice way of strapping onto the guy's arm. And we have the famous Sword of Power. Really nice sword. We have Skeletor. <laughs> With his nice skull head. He's got the standard armor around his 
shoulders. He's got the X crossbone part there. This doesn't really match up. There we go. Loin cloth of his own. Gauntlets on his feet, no boots. He's got fist hand and holding onto a staff hand. And his two other hands are pointy hand and a open palm hand. He's got a cool goat headed staff. Really nice. This is solid. Look, it's barely bendable. It is a really nice solid. It's heavy. It's a heavy, nice, solid staff. And then he has the sort of onk like thing, the eye staff that we sometimes see him with. Moss Man, look at those feet. Incredible. Moss Man has his loincloth, moss like armor around his upper body. Really cool face on Moss Man. Sprouts coming out of him in random locations. Really cool. He's got these hands to claw onto a weapon if you need him to. But he also has four sets, or three, I guess, three pairs of hands. So what he has on him, he's got these claw-like hands for both sides. And then he's got open palm-type hands for both sides. And not only that, he's got one alternate hand, which is a huge outreach of plant material. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Evelyn <laughs> with her headdress with the skull on it. She has the um, her small staff in hand, plastic skirts for Evelyn. She's got a hook here for another weapon to be at her side. And uh, by the way, Skeletor had a cloth cape, by the way. And Evelyn comes with an extended long staff that's very, that's basically the same as her short one, but extended and long. And again, it's pretty, pretty thick, pretty solid. She has a pouch, a purse kind of bag that can go around her shoulders. And the alternate head to be Evelyn without the headdress, if you would like. Plus, she has two punchy fists. If you want to use those, another grippy hand and an open palm magic type hand, which she's currently using a one grippy hand to grip that. And she's got an open palm sort of magic-y hand over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pose these guys, put them on a roundabout once for you, and we'll take a look at each figure. Oh, these figures are awesome, guys. Evil Lynn. Skeletor. <laughs> Beautiful looking figure. The skull staff looks great. I love the paint apps on these figures. The bat wings going around his armor, cloth cape. His feet are great. Really nice looking Skeletor. He man, he man. His power sword. The gauntlet on his arm is pretty cool. He holds the shield pretty well. And he's definitely He Man. Not a bad face for this one. And then we have Moss Man, which is by far one of the coolest characters. Look at that moss arm extension. Really cool. Really nice figure, although it can be top heavy. And it does actually sag a little bit out of the hand joint because of all the weight. So it is a little bit wonky, but it works. Really cool looking face on Moss Man. Really nice detail and paint apps on these. Love his feet. Look at those. 
That's awesome. I mean, if you were going to get just one figure, I would say get Boss Man. <laughs> to be quite frank, that's the one I would grab if you're just only going to get one. And like I said, if you want a more detailed look at any of these figures, I can do a more detailed video just on the one figure. But for now, we're just going to do a roundabout real quick for each one and close this out. I love the gauntlet. I wish you can move that gauntlet to the other arm, but the yellow bracelet that's on this arm is glued to the arm. So the yellow bracelet that you'll see here cannot be moved to this arm. And therefore, this doesn't fit right on that arm. Because traditionally speaking, the shield should be on that arm, the sword should be on this arm, and that gauntlet, if you're going to have it, should be on this arm, and the little yellow circlet should be on that arm. So <laughs> traditionally speaking, you want to switch everything on this arm to this arm, and everything on this arm to that arm, but it just quite doesn't work without breaking the glue. You could break the glue that's on this arm and do it. But if you don't want to break the glue, this is how you're going to do it. This is your He-Man. Moss Man. This is a really cool character. I really, really like this guy. I'm serious. If you're just going to get one figure, I would say get this one over all the others. He is by far the coolest action figure I've seen in a long time. I think Moss Man's going to hit my top 10 of any type of action figure this year. Really cool. And I can't believe you get this giant accessory plus six sets of hands, like three sets of hands, six hands, you know, and this. It's like, and Eva Lynn's the same way. Like, why do you get so many accessories? It's incredible. Very cool figure. Now we have the master of evil himself, Skeletor. Skeletor is awesome. This version of Skeletor is really cool. I love the bone staff that he comes with. The purple cloth is really nice. I love the uh, cloth goods on his cape and everything. The armor, the coloring, everything about this character is really cool. This figure is awesome. Just unbelievable. Very, very happy with this one. Skeletor. And now we got Evil Inn. Evil Inn is so awesome. This one is a really, really good figure also. I almost think that Evil Inn and Moss Man are better than He-Man and Skeletor. <laughs> um, there's just something about this Evil Inn figure that is just really, really cool. And again, she comes with six hands. So three different sets of hands for six hands total. Comes with an alternate head two different size staffs here that you can see both in the picture and a uh, like a hand bag like a purse or something so the accessories you get on evil in are just unbelievable and these figures are 1999 they are cheaper now less expensive than black series and right about the same price as a marvel legends but you get probably two times the number of accessories that you get with any of those figures so you kind of start wondering if Mattel can afford to do it. Why can't you, Hasbro? <laughs> That's all I'll say on that, I guess. But, you know, hey. And now we have the alternative Evil Inn. A head change, put the bag on, a couple quick hand changes, and we've got a completely different Evil Inn showcasing the versatility within this figure. And I got to say, this is awesome. I almost want to get a second one just so I can have her in both both options on the shelf because I love both options here. It's very difficult to choose a head sculpt and go with a style for this figure because this is freaking awesome, guys. I, I really, really like the way she looks here, but I also like the way she looks with that headdress on. I'm having a conundrum. I'm having a, a breakdown. <laughs> Skeletor and Evil Inn versus Moss Man and He Man. He Man, He Man. 
very cool. Really nice looking action figures. I'm very happy for these to have these. Really cool. I, I highly recommend them. I do. I mean, after having them in hand, I think if you're a six inch, seven inch collector, you're going to want these. No doubt. He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Revelation by Mattel from the Masterverse collection. Four really awesome figures. Hope that was a good enough look for them. And again, if you want to see any of these guys in more detail, hit me up and I'll do a video exclusive just to that one figure. I'm definitely going to do that for He Man because I want to put him on Battle Cat and see how that goes. And do some comparison things with the other He-Mans that I have. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm John, I'm out of here. You've been watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. And this was a look at He-Man Masters of the Universe Revelation action figures. See you guys later. Bye bye!